Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial on how to stop your logic from, uh, you know, from crapping out on you, from getting that CPU overload message. Um, before, I mean, I looked up other videos, and you know, everyone seems to go with this method where you, uh, you click over here, you right click, and you bring out the freeze option, and then you freeze the tracks. You know, so I'll just freeze a couple, and then as soon as you hit the space bar, it's going to freeze those tracks, and uh, that's great. Um, that's going to make it so you can't edit those tracks, and you're stuck like that. Um, that's not what I do anymore. I was doing that before, and that's still a good last-ditch option. However, there's a much better way, and it's also just going to improve your sound overall anyway. Um, it's using buses. And so I guess this is kind of a dual tutorial of using buses and auxiliary tracks and stopping the CPU message. So, I mean, when you have your tracks, this is, um, this is a remix, Graf to Kodak, He Basement. Um, if you've heard the song, it's a pretty chill song. I'm doing a remix for the, he's doing a little contest. But, I mean, I have almost everything going to a bunch of, especially the drums, a bunch of different buses. Um, anything you're going to put reverb on, I mean, let me see if I can look at the mixer here. So I have, you know, like a reverb bus, an echo bus, a compression bus that's is kind of just general parallel compression going on here that I'm going to send stuff to and that just really helps your computer figure out what's going on and me I have the computer from I'm, I mean I'm running on a laptop from 2005 2006 so this thing used to always just give me the overload message until I started doing this and it's really simple I'm not going to get too in depth with it but um, we'll start I'll just show you my hats or these hats so these hats I have you know you click on the send and you choose a bus right now bus one is my echo bus so I mean it's not gonna have anything on it yet you know if you choose an empty bus there's nothing there then you make it what you want to make it you know if you want a, a certain filter you know choose whatever filter you want and this is just gonna save you from doing say putting reverb on every individual track that's gonna slow your computer down instead of having one track that's your reverb and if you want two different kinds of reverbs then you know then just make another bus but I haven't had the overload message for forever. Like, I, it hasn't happened yet since I've started doing this. So there's that. Um, you know, and then you come over here and make sure that you actually turn on the effect. Um, if you hold the option and or Alt key if you're on a PC and click here, um, it'll just put it at 0 dB. And then basically that's going to define the amount of effect that you put on there. So normally what I do too is if I'm going to choose like a filter or something, I'll kind of just put whatever, I'll find where I want full to be, you know, kind of the max, I don't know, effect that you want. And then for each individual track, you then decide how much effect you want just by using this one slider. Um, I think that's the best way to go about it. But I mean, you know, play with it. Um, the other option too, before you go, I mean, I would normally do this, I guess, before I freeze tracks, is bouncing your tracks. I don't have them bounced here. This is all still MIDI. But if you bounce your tracks to audio, um, that'll help because then it's everything's set in place. But, I mean, at that point, then you bounce it and you're, you know, you can't do any more real editing. I mean, you can kind of glitch it out and do other stuff to it, add more filters and, and plugins. But, anyway, uh, that that pretty much does it. Um that should help you with that and I'm telling you you get a much better sound when you run through buses um, I, I use them for everything and then I might as well just show you guys this too so on my mixer um, auxiliary tracks so you're gonna have a bunch of buses going on you're like oh my god I got all these sliders you know how am I supposed to control all these you know levels so you make an auxiliary track by Selecting, I'll select one that isn't on one yet, so my vocals are not on one. Um, 
it right now it's going straight out, straight out to the stereo. So you make a separate bus for it. Um, I'll choose bus 34 right now. And I go to my mixer, and I look here, and auxiliary 14 is bus 34, so I can just name that vocals. And what I can do is I can send all my vocals to bus 34, insert whatever, reverb, uh, compression, whatever you want to add to your vocals there, or, you know, whatever. I mean, see, I have, you know, I have all my pads going here. I have all my basses going here. I have all the drums going here. So I add more compression on the drums here. Um, another channel EQ to just kind of get them all exactly where I want them. But, I mean, doing this is just really going to kind of beef up your sound and stop you from getting that overload message, too. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, um, you know, just uh, shoot me an email or a comment on the video. I always check those. And be sure to subscribe and like and uh, do all that great stuff. All right.